If you never see me again, just know that I love you, Mom. I love you. <laughs> Where, what are we doing? Yeah, where are we going? We're going to pick up our packets, late. Very late. That, that's it, that one. How's your heart feeling? It's beating, it's beating faster than usual, I'll tell you that. So Sam fit in her entire hardtail into this trash messenger bag. How did you do that? This little space, this stuff, nuts. Can. Been in Leadville under one hour. Sam's going on a test ride in the hail. We've been in Leadville for probably one hour and it went from 75 and sunny to raining to big old hail, balls of hail. How's that hail feel? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we have to meet Shannon. Shannon is, Shannon's a man. Shannon's a oh man. Gosh. I was right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this well. is Shannon, the mechanic. Hey, how's it going? Shannon knows absolutely everything about this race. He's done it so many times. He's run training camps and he does mechanic shipping and boxing for everybody. He's a godsend. He's incredible. If you need anything, if you're going to do Leadville, you need to talk to Shannon. So, what do you think? Should I move to Leadville? Leadville's so pretty. Made it to Leadville, and we're racing the Leadville 100 mountain bike race. This is gonna be my second ever mountain bike race. How are you, Sam? It's gonna be my maybe third or fourth. You see, so you're experienced at this. That is not experience. <laughs> Have you ever ridden 100 miles? Oh yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. She's ready. But 100 miles on a mountain bike at altitude is a very different beast. Yeah, no. All right, so we're riding very different bikes. I'm riding, we're both riding live bikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, they make great mountain bikes for women. They really do. So I'm riding full suspension with an eagle. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm riding a hardtail with single speed. So just one gear. Hold up. You riding with one gear. One gear. You know how much we have to climb, right? Yeah. Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. By the way, side note, she also did the tour divide. Since that's a big deal, like, what's your ratio? Ah, 3217. That's a it's bigger ratio. It's a little bit heavy for this race, but we'll see how it goes. I geared for the flats instead of the climbs. There's no flats, so I'll be doing the climbs on a heavy gear. So I've seen a lot of people walking these climbs though, so it doesn't matter what your ratio is if you're gonna be puffing it. That's true. We'll see. Yeah. You've already ridden 100 miles for like, what, seven times? For like seven, more than seven times. More than seven times? Yeah. What do you do, ride 100 miles on your mountain bike all the time? Regularly. I have not ridden 100 miles on a mountain bike ever. So, I don't know, I'm nervous about like weather. It seems to change like every 15 minutes here. I'm worried about puking at altitude. What are your biggest concerns? Uh, altitude for sure, and the ability to breathe, and uh, just being able to stay on top of this gear the whole race. I'm pretty nervous about that. Wish us luck, and get ready to watch what, what unfolds. <laughs> Did I build it up, the suspense enough? <laughs> I think it's built. It's 4.30 in the morning, we just woke up, and uh, <laughs> it feels like three. You're ridiculous, Sam. How are you so like together right now? We're the last one. Hey Sam, hey, where are we? At the start line. We're sitting at the start line. Um, it's it's a single speed, six fifteen. <laughs> Sam's getting all the funny looks. Everyone's like, where are her ears? Um, I'm not nervous anymore because there's like nothing more to do. I was nervous before. We're shifting, we're moving, things are happening. Sam, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from a side beat. And I'm to have you always. Do you love me? Are you riding? 
All right, I'm gonna put this. I'll put this away. We got a race for real, though. Let's do this. I commit. I won't quit. We'll see you all right back here to finish right. Just starting out, we are only 20 minutes in and super beautiful. I am going very chill pace right now. When we first hit the dirt, I was like, oh no, funnel, I gotta catch up spots. And so, went on the outside and was like moving up and then I realized I'm working too hard too early. And now all those spots I moved up, everyone passed me already. But look at this view, it's so pretty. I met Holly from Memphis. She's been my companion, sharing stories of when we were younger and stupider. <laughs> or maybe not. Sam's pretty far ahead of me now, I think. She's killing it, trying to keep a good pace on her single speed. I feel physically in my legs like I could be doing a lot faster, but breath-wise, I don't know. Just trying to take it easy, because remember my number one goal, don't barf. <laughs> Pipeline checkpoint, headed to uh, Columbine, which is supposed to be a bitch. <laughs> so there's a lot of people cheering, sending us on. Breathing has been probably the hardest part of the whole race. And I don't even know if I can really call it a race because <laughs> don't feel like I'm going race pace. Woohoo! This is the highest one, I think. Is it? Like that. Highest one? Yeah. Going up to 12,000 feet here. 12,500? I naively thought I was gonna ride this whole thing until I hit that 18% and I was like, hell no. <laughs> Who daddy is? You feel great, don't you? Like amazing? My legs really hurt, I'm really dizzy. I think I found that dark place they were talking about. <laughs> Did everybody know that? <laughs> this is a hard race. really hard. <laughs> I can move in right here. Build a little, move into that cabin. It's a great place to live. My new home, welcome to my new house. I'm never leaving. All right, we made it to the top of Columbine. We were told, don't spend much time here. But um, they have really tasty snacks and it's pretty. And really nice people. I don't even know what I'm drinking, but it's delicious. All right. You're doing good. good You're job, doing huh? great. You're doing a great oh, job. No. Sam, I'm going to take off. See you down there. Seven hours in the saddle. I'm pretty sure my lips are sunburnt. Everything's sunburnt. <laughs> oh, I stopped to pee. Haven't seen Sam. Not sure where Sam is. We're at not even 70 miles yet. This looks like a great place to just take a nap. By the way, an eight-year-old said she liked my helmet. Oh my god, it's a bike race. Yeah, where you take your
your bike for a walk. <laughs> like it's a pet. Like it's a pet. <laughs> yep. I'm on the last major climb. There's dirt all over my face. It's all right. It's all right. I'm gonna make it eventually. How's the race going, Sam? It's going better. Better? Yeah. You were in a dark place for a minute, weren't you? Oh, uh, yeah. One of the best things I heard about this type of racing is uh, however you're feeling in that moment doesn't last. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I just had to think about when I would feel better. We might not be able to film much more of this race, so there probably will be a few more dark moments in this race. We are at mile 73. <laughs> Batteries are probably all going to be dead in like mm, three more minutes. So we're going to we're going to finish. We're going to wrap this up. I'm at the finish line, but not because I finished. I'm here because I got pulled from the race. So I was at the last descent, and they said they didn't want to have to come back to get me, so they pulled me, which is fine. They pulled me. Right. <laughs> She's like, does not compute. What? <laughs> yeah. There you go. That beautiful sky out there. How do you feel? Is what Colorado is all about. Um, probably how I look. Why are you standing there? You look fantastic. Beautiful, powerful. Because that's what this is. Did you finish? They pulled me. What? Yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I thought you could finish no matter what. I mean, I would have, but it wasn't up to me. I know you would have. I know you would have. You wouldn't have quit. I know you wouldn't quit. Wow. That was hard. While I was riding, I never considered giving up or stopping. Um, some people said I was going to get emotional at the finish line, but I didn't. I think I was just too tired. But certain points during the race, I was getting a little emotional. Most of the time during the race, I just felt like super happy because it was so beautiful. And like, even though I was in pain, there was like people all around me that were just, you know, giving it their all. And it takes a lot of grit and a lot of heart to, you know, not be crushing it and like still be determined to finish something that hard. Anytime I got into like, a slightly dark place or complained in my mind I like immediately flipped it and was like I'm so lucky to be here <clears throat> in this place in this time right now and I felt this um, sense of pride that I was like pushing myself through something I wasn't sure if I could do but I wasn't gonna give up and knowing that like all the like emotional and career and like life questions all that stuff is way tougher than like is like is way tougher than a hundred mile bike race honestly i mean my legs feel cooked but it's not as hard as like figuring out how to pay the rent or buy a house or make a relationship work real talk and if you're ever thinking about doing the leadville 100 i highly recommend it it was beautiful pretty proud of that. Maybe I'll try again and do it a little faster. We'll see. Tell me what happened at the end of the race. Mm, I didn't get to the end of the race. I really wish Sam had been able to finish. I'm talking about grit and heart. Nobody has more grit and heart than that woman. Because they pulled me at mile 90. She's phenomenal. So <clears throat> I'm a little bummed. 90. Mile 90. So at the top of what, Carter Climb, I believe is what people called it. Yeah, they let you climb Carter and then they told you they were gonna collect you. Yep, they told me they were gonna collect me. 
because they didn't think I would finish. Um, she freaking tackled it. Tackled the Leadville 100 on a single speed for her first time. You only had 13 miles left. I know. And I know you and I know you would have finished. I know I would have finished too. Um, I just wish I would have had the chance to, but that is okay. All right, do you think you're gonna come back for this race? I think I will. Yeah, because I know I can finish it. And it was freaking amazing, wasn't it? It was beautiful. I mean, I know you didn't get to finish, but those 90 miles, right? They were primo 90 miles. Hell yeah. Thanks for being here. <laughs> back in LA and just built up my mountain bike thanks to Kevin who got his first mountain bike. Pretty sweet. And we're gonna go riding in California now. Um, that Leadville race was so hard, but it was so fun. So I looked at the finishing results and I came in 100th out of 142 women. And there were all, about 2,000 men. So 2,000 male competitors and 142 female competitors. That means we need more women out there next year. Ladies, get your mountain bikes and let's go riding. I'm here, I'm in LA, anytime, give me a call. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. Yeah. I'm gonna go mountain biking with Kevin, and I think I'm gonna shave, can I shave my hair real quick before yeah, I go? Yeah, of course. I need ventilation. <laughs> Bye. You'd be proud of me, I pooped twice. I'm really proud of you. Yep. Did you say puked or pooped? Pooped. Ooh, I puked zero job. times, pooped, pooped twice. twice. <laughs> I did one big poop. Peed four times.